Hey, this is Balance, and you're watching Local Band Smoke Out. One, the only Mick. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show them out, Hell yeah. yeah. How goes it, bro? How how's the day? Please properly introduce yourself. Uh, let us know whereabouts in the world you are right now, and plug and promote anything and everything. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Uh, my name is Mick, and I create the music. I uh, use drum programming for the drums, but I create the the bass and the guitar for Shovel Monster. And uh, you can check out our website at shovelmonster.com, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all the good stuff like we all know. So, yeah. yeah. And I, I asked Mojo earlier, but I want to hear from you. How did you actually meet him and then decide that, that he's he's what is missing from the project? So, so he's a third singer, if you're not aware. Um, the debut album had my buddy on there, and he came up with some health issues. So I, uh, my second singer for Day 9, he did our lyric videos for the debut album. And so I, I don't know why. I, th I think he was just showing me a mix that, because I was asking him if he knew any mixers, and he sent me a track that he did for him, and he's like, oh, I did the vocals on here, so... When I knew the time was up, I asked him if he was interested in doing vocals, and he's like, "Sure." And but he's in Costa Rica, and so as this thing's been progressing, it's been kind of one of those things where I kind of want to play some live live shows, and with him being in Costa Rica, it definitely makes things a little more trivial. So um, I just kind of. We, we ended on good terms and everything. He's still cool and everything. And, and so when I knew that, that I needed to find somebody else, I just, I've known uh, Mojo probably a couple months prior, two, three months prior to uh, needing a vo another vocalist. Um, we just met through social, you know, networking on Facebook, ma uh, you know, majority of, of that. And then uh, just, yeah, just became kind of, helping each other out, sharing each other's stuff, liking each other, you know, just kind of helping each other out. And then, um, yeah, and then just we were, we were going to do a collab pretty much with – there was like a, a, a super group going to do a collab, and it, and it kind of it kind of fell through. So um, – but we kept in touch, and we um, – like I say, I just kind of went to my resources. Who can I, you know – first ask that I know of instead of trying to go blind and so I asked him because I you know obviously I've heard his vocals on his, his stuff and and so he's like well he at first thought I was just asking him to be a guest you know on a song <laughs> and so he uh but now I was like no man do you want to be the vocalist and and he's like sure he's like are you sure though and and so <laughs> he kind of he did his magic on one of the songs and then a couple days later we just said yeah it works so let's do it you know hell yeah awesome and you said the yeah. first vocalist had health issues, and I don't want to, you know, pick about about that. But uh, was he local to you? What like the initial plan was him to be able to do shows? Uh, n no, it, I mean it could have. He was he's like only a couple hours from me. Okay. So he's fairly fairly local, yeah. Um, but it, it well, just local started. Than I am. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it just started out just pretty much like studio, and uh, wasn't really planning on doing shows, but um, since we created some you know social uh, networking and, and actually you know accrued some people that actually like some of the the songs that i create and we create um it's been kind of like a, a, a thing to you know do some shows you know so hell yeah you've got to be a horror fan by coming up with a band name <laughs> called shovel monster so a oh, of course. what is the best horror movie ever can we see the shovel hanging behind you and how did you come up with the name Shovel Monster? Little little trio right there. Sorry, you you got you frozen for the first two seconds of that. Oh, sorry. Uh, my my question is, uh, what is the best horror movie of all time in your opinion? Can we see Ooh. the shovel hanging behind you? If you could, if if it's possible for us Absolutely. to see it, 
And then uh, yeah. can you can you elaborate on how Shovel Monster was the perfect title for the band name? Um, movie. That's a that is a that's tough. a tough one. Okay, yeah, what about what about uh, like horror franchise? Multiple films under this, you know. I mean, yeah, there's so many, and I, like I I like the my spit. The, what is it? The I spit on your grave. I like those. Those are the, wicked, crazy kill scenes. Good call. Yeah. Um, I like, obviously, um, the Saws are kind of cheesy, but I still like the Saw movies. Um, the Halloweens, the Fridays, all those good good classics from the back in the day. And um, the Heels of Eyes I really really stuck out to me, too, especially the original. Oof. So you like, uh, like graphic, really f***. Up like kill scenes is what I'm gathering because I've I'm seen all the hills of yeah, eyes and I've seen the spit yeah. on your graves and the spit on your graves are rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I don't know. I you know it's, I I find it just entertainment. I don't think it's real or anything. So, but yeah, I, I find it entertaining anyways. And and uh, and then the cool thing that I thought that I noticed anyway in the Rob Zombie Halloween movies was in his movies he actually made. Michael Myers like grunt, you know, and, mm. like when he was killing somebody, he was putting that force into it, and you could hear it. Whereas the movies, yeah. or you didn't hear that, you know. So that was an extra. The ending is different too, right? Oh, Sorry, yeah. I just I got done working out and I'm fucking hot still. So. <laughs> Showing off the guns, getting getting beefed up. No worries. Uh, I'm Here, gonna let, let Mojo ask the... a question while you grab while you grab the the shovel. <laughs> Have you ever seen the ending to the to the Rob Zombie Halloween? I, I have not actually. I'm gonna have to look that up. Later. Yo, it is it's a completely different ending. It's cool. Yeah. So this one's the the prototype essentially. Oh, it's like it's um, like a little mini one where you can just clock somebody in the head and then bury them real quick. <laughs> yeah, it's over like, like twenty six or twenty eight inches. But this is a prototype. I actually painted everything on here, but. The ones going forward, I actually made the sticker for this, and it's got a little more detail in it. And and then I do the same thing with the blood, and and then put a clear coat, and then I I put a, a, a one of our stickers on on the handle there too. So these are all like per order, hand done by you. Yeah, yep. yeah. I mean, I have that's badass. I only have, I've only made three. I have one that's sitting right here that hasn't been nothing done to it yet because nobody's put it in order. So. But yeah, I've only done three. That's still that's, that's just like a cool merch item that other bands yeah. are, are are able to offer. Uh, Mojo, I know you got a lot of questions. Go ahead and uh, shoot a couple off for Mick. Questions? I'm I'm in the band, man. <laughs> I know, but it, there's got to be something that that some inside stories. Oh man, I, I actually wasn't prepared to ask questions. <laughs> um, what do you, what do you think, Mick, about telling what the numbers mean? That's that was gonna be one of my next questions. I got to know bludgeon case number so and so, blank blank blank. What do the numbers mean, man? <laughs> the numbers are so simple too. It's it's not even. I think the letters in the in that whole thing makes it better, but the numbers are stupid easy really when you think about it and see it. Are they like specific <laughs> dates to like a a, a major mass no. murder or something? They're not dates. No, they're not dates. They're just so it's like case number, you know. So it's like missing, you know, this person. Case. You, know, you know how like in the, in the case files, like cold cases and stuff, they have case number such and such. That's where the idea comes from. Yeah, because like all of the people on the album, you know, there's there's four victims in this, so they're all have a case number yeah but the case right. number is related to something else right when will this like fully be revealed i mean the album is pretty much going to be the reveal and we're hoping people will put two and two together because it's once you see them i think once you see them all i think you'll be able to figure it out um I don't know. We're kind of trying to leave little, you know. Is it is it safe to say like it's a concept album or just Absolutely. there's additional? Okay. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Every everything yeah. from, I mean, yeah, he wrote all the music, but when we came up with like it is a complete one hundred percent story. There is 
there's four victims in it. So you're, what you're getting is essentially point of views. Mm -hmm. That's why, that's why like one song is called Chad and the other song is called bludgeoned. Okay. So they're just different point of views. So that's all we can really say. Okay. <laughs> we, Ch Chad, Chad is Chad's point of view. Bludgeoned is actually from our killer's point of view, which is the, Shane's point of view. Okay. Yeah, which is that's our uh, that's his, uh, you know, his alias, I guess. So, so his when show. when Mojo when when you were like, oh, he's the guy, and he and he's in. You guys are both brainstorming together, like let's come up with this concept, and then how does that start to the point of the reveal soon to be soon to be done? So I had a two album concept that's similar to what we're doing, but there was a, I forget what the, the issue was going to be, um, but there was going to be an issue. So we're like, well, let's just make it one album and we'll make it work this way. And it's, but yeah, essentially I came up with two album idea of, of the point of views basically. And, um, and then he kind of, helped you know a lot push the story even farther because I, I was telling i don't know if he actually came up with i don't even remember how the story started but i think i just we just kind of um started just bullshitting and coming up with ideas and like we already have the next stuff figured out <laughs> how many instruments do you play mick <laughs> uh i mean i don't know if, i guess you could say i play them it's the guitar and bass but uh, that's it. Yeah. So I, I do know you, how to tune them. That's about it. Are you like uh, like MIDI sequencing the drums for for shovel or? or... So, yeah. So I have a drum program and I just pick some bass, you know, tracks that I like, and then if need be, I'll go in and edit them through the MIDI, you know, and and adjust them what I need to be, you know, to fit my riff that I come up with. Because I, I pretty much lay the track the drum tracks first, and then I come up with the music, the guitar, you know. Oh yeah. So, how, yeah. how? What can we expect if 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 we're we just bought a ticket for the first Shovel Monster show? Like, do you have in mind to to have an actual drummer, or is it just be backing tracks for you guys, or what can we expect? I mean, we're we're trying to get a drummer. So far, it's just not working out yet. But um, if anything, we'll try and. Um, we have far, a bass player so far, and and yeah. the drummers have Felt said too. yes, but not fully committed. But yeah. well, Mojo, you play drums also, right? You can yeah, play that drums shit. singing to this. You can't. You can't <laughs> do play drums and singing to this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, dang, <laughs> that, that ain't that ain't no, happening, man. No Phil I, Collins. I, I can play. I, I can play drums, but it's like you know. No Phil Collins. Rock. <laughs> Dad, I am. I am not a. Uh, heavy metal blast beat you know, and that you know that's double kick drummer that, that's funny because in the beginning when we were trying to figure out if he was actually going to do the vocals i was i knew he'd play drums so i was like you know what maybe maybe he could do drums instead and i'll just find another vocalist and he's like nah man he's like he just didn't feel like he'd rather do the vocals so no worries but, uh, but yeah, I don't know. We're, we're still trying to figure that out. Whether we borrow so, a drummer from a different band for you know just to do some show uh, a couple week shows or something. Um, that's just it's still kind of in the in the premature a little bit. Cool. No worries. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It did. Uh, did Mojo prep you on the trivia portion of the show? Uh, sort of, but I did bring my shit. Ghost pepper <laughs> blueberry. What? Yep. Let's go. I got I got some blueberry. And I have ghost pepper, so I'm kind of I'm kind of hanging with you right here. Nice. Go, ghost pepper <laughs> wing sauce and blueberry hell, just doing both at the same time. But the cool thing is, you get to pick the trivia. Whether or not you get it right, I'm gonna do the hot sauce. But what movie or TV show, Mick, have you seen the most? One or the, the other, most. a movie or a TV oh. show. You've seen it the most. Where if I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. I mean, am I supposed to have uh, Mojo help me with this, or just me? I mean, technically, it's a Shovel Monster interview. He's just a little bonus. Okay. So, uh, so I guess he can help you. I, I mean, just like we texted earlier, I'm willing to help, but if you go with Rocky Four, I'm out. Like, I have no help on Rocky Four. Dude, that's probably the mo the movie I've seen, probably the most. Uh. 
But the office is fucking bomb too. Which one um, do you decide if it was between those two? Fuck. Like I said, I can help you on the office. Let's do that. Let's Ro- let, well, Rocky, I have no help. You're on your own. <laughs> I mean, I'll do the hot sauce if you miss it, but I'm, yeah, I'm telling you now, I ain't got it. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be funnier probably if we do the office, right? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Either one works. I'm I'm frequently stunned people on the office. Uh, Mojo, sure, shoot yeah. off. I know you don't have a lot of questions for him, but shoot off one more. I need to stall for a second. Yeah. Um, when uh, doing day nine, like, did you and Randall come up with the concept, or was that all you, or did he actually like come up with some of that with you? Like I don't the, think I've ever known that known that part. Um. Well, the the album cover I came up with before the debut album actually came out. Yeah. Um, so I, the the cover was done. I knew that I wanted to have a character, um, and then I told him. I believe we talked, and I kind of just gave him ideas. I, you know, hey, this is we want to kind of do, you know, build this up and see. I I don't think we had, dude. It's time's flying, and with all different, you know, with our stories going, I don't remember 100, percent but because well, day nine is about basically the mom and dad, right? Yeah, I mean that was his first kills, and then um, yeah, it doesn't. There's no specifics like we do with people other than yeah. his mom, mom and dad. So yeah, but it's just it's kind of a like a little backstory in day nine of like um, you know he was bullied and and just had some psych issues and uh, just one day snapped essentially and and but for uh, like um the first album y'all didn't do any kind of concept right no not at all that was uh the original singer came up he's a good he's very good at lyrics he can he's just he's like a poet when it comes to lyrics but (laughs) um just the flow of his words and everything was just awesome but um but yeah it was not it it was never supposed to be like a character or you know like a gimmick or whatever you want to call it um but then I started thinking after the first album, I was like, man, it'd be kind of cool to, I don't know, just expand a little bit and create something. And it's kind of where we're say, going. I was about to say, our, uh, our live show idea is pretty gimmicky. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're selling shovels, and I think that's totally a gimmick that nobody else has. So that, that's that's cool in its own thing right there. Plus, you're, you're making them handmade. But yeah. I want to see if I can stump you on some office trivia. I'm sure you will. In the office, they have an award show called the Dundies. What award does Phyllis win at the Dundies? The Bushiest Beaver. The Bushiest Beaver is correct. I'm about to say, there's actually two answers to that question. Probably. It's yeah. It's it's actually the busiest beaver. Busiest beaver, but the award says bushiest. Right. Correct. <laughs> Oof. I know, right? That apple cider vinegar. I gotta do that in it's addition you, to the, the blueberry ghost pepper that I just did right yeah, now. That's good. It's gonna be a lovely uh, chaser behind. Whew. Little bonus point. This doesn't count as a spin or an actual trivia question, but can you name the award won by Kelly and Pam? Just out of out of curiosity. Pam got the whitest sneakers. White sneakers. Correct. And, and, and instead of being Kelly. the longest uh, engagement, Kelly. Kelly. Oof. That's a hard one. Because he asks. Because she's like, "What is that supposed to mean?" It's it's. God dang it! I forget that one too. That's what I should ask. What what the what are we? Yeah, you should have me? because I remember I remember uh, she's like asking Michael like, what is this even what supposed this to mean? mean? I don't yeah. understand. What's, what the, what are you what are you trying to say with this? The answer is the spicy curry award. Yes. <laughs> the spicy curry award. When do is there a rough timetable of when you guys can reveal the rest of the details for the concept album? I don't think I've asked for a timetable of when it's going to be dropped. Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, that's when the album comes out. It's Halloween, so we're just, we're not really giving. We're trying to give little clues and stuff, but I think, like I say, once the album comes out on Halloween, I think people people will be able to put two and two together. Yeah, we'll, we'll that's that's when it all makes every sense. Will be. Yeah, it should, I mean, I 
I think it will make a lot more sense. But when you when you see the entire album and all the songs, all the numbers will line up, and it should. If it doesn't, I mean, we'll be glad to be like it. It means this, and everybody's gonna be like, "Are you serious? It's, it, it's that simple. It means that." <laughs> it, it was just gonna click right away. Uh huh. Mick, what actually scares you in real life? Do you have any phobias? I definitely don't like spiders. So, yeah. like, arachnophobia, you probably won't watch that movie? I mean, I have, but, yeah, it's not one of my favorites. It's like <laughs> Freaks. <laughs> that one's not so right. bad. But. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, that's definitely one of them I just can't stand. Are you a gamer by chance? you play any video games? Yeah, like Super Mario Bros. <laughs> I got the original shit, man. I got the I got the Super, the Super Nintendo. I got the, the original NES. Um I mean, yeah, we boy. do, we do, yeah, we do have the PS4 and shit, but uh, I don't play the. I have a lot of, <coughs> excuse me. Um, when I can't play a lot of first-person stuff because it just fucks with my 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 head. I get all dizzy and shit, so I uh, can't play too much. But I'll I'll, I'll play like um, Mortal, the new Mortal Kombat. I think it's ten or eleven, the one that we have. Um, but yeah, I, I stick to the classics, man. Hell yeah. Um, I do want to do try one more office trivia because my goal is always to stump and I get frustrated if I don't stump somebody. So let's try one more. One more. There's an episode called The Injury. Michael himself actually gets injured pretty bad. <laughs> George Foreman Grill. Yep. On what his foot. Mother <laughs> Give me a hell as, soon yeah. as, said, as soon as you said the injury, the George Foreman Grill on his foot. You boys have definitely seen The Office too many times. No, no yeah. stumping you today. No stumping you today. And we gotta do. I'll do a sake shot. Uh, Mick, let's say, let's say um, that this first show does go down. Nothing goes wrong. It's a flawless show. There's no hiccups in, in you know. Um, just gear going bad. I don't know. Like the backing tracks going out, anything along the lines of that. What is your go to after party munchy meal? It's a celebration night. We're going all out. What's your munchy meal of choice? Dude, boy. You like know what? The first I first gig and it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I, you know what? I just came across that I, I, uh, a coworker turned me on was um, the Popeyes sandwich. Oh, oh, dude, the, bake, the bacon, bacon, cheese, spicy, crispy one, man, it's so good. It's the greatest chicken sandwich ever. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, he definitely uh, hooked, he hooked me up with that. And I was like, man, that was a bad idea because I think I'm I'm uh, addicted. You know, whenever I, I order the spicy, no pickles, I, I actually wait till I get home. And then I put it in the broiler, but I put like diced jalapenos and a piece of cheese on top, and I put it in the broiler so it's and it levels nice. it up a little bit. I'm just saying. Nice, nice. Hell yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Mick, we've got time for like one more each, and uh, Mojo, I think I think you should end it on your final while I, and then I'll do my final question. <laughs> um. Tell, tell them about the, the gimmick we're going to do on the live shows that we've talked about doing. Oh, boy. That's a long time away. Somebody's going to steal that shit. Um, we know the people do it. Give, it, give oh, us a, a loose, light edit it's version. No, it's not that big a good deal, actually. But we're going to just, we're going to dress up classy, man. We're going to dress up in some suits. And uh, we haven't 100% sold on mojo though because he was thinking maybe overalls with the shovel monster mask oh yeah um, and then he's gonna so, create... yeah, like they, they're gonna they're gonna look all nice and fancy and then what we think we're gonna do for me is like a burlap sack overalls like a country bumpkin kind of way and i am making a huge version of that shovel as a mic stand like jason Voorhees before he gets the mask this kind of thing uh Kind of, I guess. You know what yeah. I'm talking about, Mick? It's, it's, where where Voorhees has the the like almost the like sack. Yeah, like, like sack. Yeah, it's similar. It's kind of, it's kind of kind of like our day nine, but a little bit different. Where I think we're gonna update it a little bit, but 
Just something. You can kind of see it if you maybe scroll up on that Spotify picture that's on there. You can kind of see the mask on him. Have you, tested, have you tested doing vocals that way? That's got to be tricky. Not, not yet, but I'm trying to get it made up um, hopefully soon. Yeah, Spaz, Spaz gonna, might know a guy that knows a guy for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, I, Mojo. Yeah, but yeah. I do know I'm going to make that huge freaking shovel microphone so I can, like, beat it around on stage and scare the shit out of people. <laughs> yeah, this would be a wicked, I, well, wicked cool show. I'm going to get here, though, because you're probably flying out here. You gonna be able to take that shit on the plane? Put it in a bag and put it in a guitar case. Put it in the guitar case. Or put, yeah, exactly. It's not a weapon. It's a <laughs> shovel. I'm not, I'm not, what, PSA. It's a I'm shovel. Not make it in, in, in two pieces, but it'll it'll get there. Don't worry. It'll get there. Yeah, they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna take away a shovel. They're like, yeah, it's it's, it's not a wet. It's not a gun. You know. I think. Yeah, I, they're, I think gonna, it would... they're gonna see his fucking mask in there. He's gonna have. He's gonna have his all killer outfit in there and shit. I feel like if, if Ramstein and Slipknot could get through, then then there's 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 a way. There's a yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mick, beyond beyond the album, this is my final question for you, and I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you so much for coming on and, and bringing the hot sauce. And I'm pissed I couldn't stop you because I wanted to know how hot that <laughs> that specific sauce was. But <laughs> um, beyond the album coming out in October. Can you tease me anything plan wise for 2024 beyond and then not considering the live show just uh is there anything you're, you're allowed to tell me I know some of the stuff is like planned out in advance but what what yeah. can we what can we get excited about for next year um yeah we're, we're working on well once this is done mixing I have roughly three tracks that we're gonna probably make like a little small EP I'm not gonna give you a date but it's early next year. Um, we're gonna we're, we we kind of want to surprise people with it, um, but we have saying, another con yeah. Saying this man writes music quickly is an understatement. This man writes music like it, there's a gun to his head. There is <laughs> so much music this man writes on the daily. It, it's, <laughs> Hell yeah! It's, I mean, I'm gonna knock on wood here, but fortunately, um, I usually have roughly three to five, six songs. Um, like I, I have roughly five, six songs from like 21 when the debut album was getting worked on that I never used. And actually one of those I reworked a little bit and is going to be one of the three next for this, the next EP. Do you, but, do you uh, anticipate the, the follow-up EP also being like a continuation concept or? It's, it's going to be a concept, but it'll be, a, it'll be. Just another, it, you know, it'll be like Day Nine's one concept. This is another, and it's gonna kind of tie in with this one, but it's gonna be still separate. Yeah. Chat like, wants to know if, if you'll do the hot sauce anyway. They want to know yeah. if it was hot. I mean, it is hot. Whoa! Hold it up more to the like screen again sauce. so we can see it one more time. What lacks is hot sauce. You can get that at World Market. Ghost pepper and blueberry bravado. I feel like I have a bravado hot sauce. Uh, do they make that the ancho masala or something? Ancho mama. Ancho um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. To be honest, I just um, I went to a world market to look for because I know they have hot sauces and they uh, the blueberry sounded really good and. It's actually really spicy, but it tastes good. Hell yeah! Like cool. I don't like those hot sauces. It's just they're fucking hot and no flavor. No right, taste. exactly. I'm they're the just same way. Annoyingly hot. Just, yeah. yeah, it's just spicy, just to be spicy. Like I'm the same way. <clears throat> well, Mick, I appreciate your time, brother. We we look forward to the EP and the explanation, the full explanation coming out right around. You said Halloween time. Yeah, yeah. That'll Halloween. be awesome. Uh, Mojo, thanks for for joining on this. But you, if you're if you're hanging for a little bit, then don't go anywhere. But Mick, we really appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. If no, it's okay with you. you, I'm gonna put this on YouTube tomorrow morning. We'll tag in some stuff. Sounds good to me, man. Hell yeah! One more time, plug where everyone can buy one of those shovels if they're interested, as they're handmade per per sale. Seventy dollars shovelmonster.com. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in and appreciate everybody uh, hanging out and appreciate the opportunity. It's our pleasure. Mick, a show the master! Yeah, yeah. 
Yes! <laughs> Thank you, brother. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band smokeout.